Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and welcome to Pocket. Today, who, who will, will, will die? In discourse. It is discourse, right? Phew. <laughs> All right, we're back. It has been a while since I've returned to the island. Hopefully they're all still alive because I'm not there controlling them to get them food. Uh, but I do need a quick refresher, so edit monkey, catch me up. I'm ready to get some things done today, Jolene. Like, constantly ragging on my husband. Them boars gotta be drinking something. You can do better than her. Scoop some of that tasty, tasty water up. I'm beginning to suspect George is actually the puppeteer of this whole thing. I could, but I certainly don't want to. George. Now's your chance to prove yourself to the team. He's a, he's a psychopath. Couple of leeches, huh? Jolene! Knows the score. You two must really love each other. Well, anytime someone says, you must really love each other and you start with well, mm -mm. call it off. Maybe the two of you just weren't meant for each other. Maybe you're right. Crack me off some of that sweet, sweet George. Have a good night. Wait, huh? You ought to have everyone swooning over you. Oh yeah, there's someone swooning over me. It begins with G and then with George. One more night down. <clears throat> I'm gonna need to stretch my legs and move around. George. Straight up, George and Jolene. It's like the game knows what I want. You're right. Sure, it'd be nice to take a walk. I'm starting to get pretty hungry. Shut up, Steve! No one likes you! No one likes you! We're going to go days without food. Just stay strong. Can we focus here? We have to figure out what we're doing today. Good plan. Well, yesterday we were able to collect some water from those bottles that just appeared out of nowhere. Uh, so that will help a lot. I was able to kill that ghost. Ugh, Garrett, die. Steve, what's your plan today? Jolene! And I would like an extra helper to check out the plane wreckage. There might be some useful supplies in there. No, no, we need to find a way to signal the outside world. Yeah, like putting rocks down on the beach, lighting a big fire. I think I'm gonna go with the plane with Steve, because I like, I wanna see that plane. Building a signal with Teddy, it's just gonna be a day of dragging around rocks with a man who wears too many watches. So I'll go with Steve to check the wreckage. I'll come too. Yes! Yes! I was so worried that it wouldn't actually involve them. George dear, you stay here and keep an eye on Garrett. Damn it, but he is gonna kill him. He was trying to kill him the last time we saw him. He was like sending him into that water. Yeah, I think it's best I look after him. Yeah, you look after him, buddy. You look after him real good. Sure is crazy to see all of this. It's hard to believe that anyone could survive that. That's true, why aren't we addressing that now? Why were you on the plane? I was nominated to compete in the International Latte Art Championships. Not a real thing. Eh, going to college hasn't really paid off yet. If you ask me, college in even ain't worth it. Jolene! No one asked you. I'm just saying, my George never went to college. Oh, don't throw him under the bus. Come on! Why do you have to stop and look at every little plant we come across, dear? Oh, Jolene, breaking the fourth wall. Whew. Us city folk don't get to see nice flowers all that often. Quick tip, city folk, don't call ourselves city folk. Country folk call us city folk. I'm allergic to, well, everything. I'm not gonna be sniffing any of those. That piece of metal there. Why don't you see if you can lift it? Steve. You're with two ladies. It is polite to do the lifting. Nope, Reedy's gonna do it. Oh, the, look at that bear grip. Look at those hands. Was that a soy frappuccino? Mm. <laughs> what am I doing? Ugh, it's way too heavy. Yeah, I know. Jolene, get over here and help me. Yeah, come on, Jolene. Waddle over. Nice, you guys are pretty strong. Do they teach that in those college of yours? No, of course they don't. No college in the world teaches plane wreckage lifting, Jolene. Actually, oh, I stand corrected. Okay, let's focus, guys. Yeah, come on, Steve. Just start looking for supplies or whatever. Why is Steve the only one in there? Something terrible is gonna happen to him. He's just trapped inside the plane wreckage. I think I see something over there. Ooh, it's a briefcase. Oh, awesome, it's a box of emergency flares. This will be useful. Yes, it will be. Weird, it kind of smells like alcohol over here. Oh my goodness, that ain't alcohol, it's jet fuel. Steve, your cigarette. Oh my God, he's on fire. Steve is on fire. He's running inside the plane. Ah, ah, I'm surrounded. Okay, still got the cigarette in his mouth though though. Try to jump out, stay where you are. There's a timer. Try to jump out. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna die. Just jump out, you can make it. I'm lying. Here goes. Huh. Ah, oh, he's on fire. I'm alive, not for long. You're on fire, thanks Rita. What, oh man. We need water, stop, drop and roll, something. Okay, there's a beach right here. The beach is my keyboard. Run to the, run to the water, Steve. You're on a f It's raining? 
The rain wouldn't put him out that quick. Look at it, it's like 10 drops. It's spitting at best. Rain works too, I guess. You're on a beach. We woke up, the plane was there, and there was water lapping at my little barista feet. <sighs> Talk about lucky. Yeah, what would we have done if it hadn't rained? Ooh, lightning. Whoa, I was just, just double lucky. I'll buy a lottery ticket right now if I could. Well, you can't. Let's get going. Okay. Rain in there, but that fire's going. So fire puts out, rain puts out fire on Steve, doesn't put out fire on ground. Uh, we're back! I don't know why I said it like that. That's not how she would have said it. She would have been like, we're back. How did things go with Garrett? I don't really want to talk about it. He's been yammering non-stop. Yeah, George knows. George tried to kill him. Sorry about sticking you two with that job. Well, it's not all bad. I think I saw something interesting. Oh? I think there's something on that mountain off in the distance. It looks man-made. Well, that's probably worth checking out. Yeah. Yeah, that probably is worth check- My apologies. Did you just sneeze? <laughs> f you. I'm, I can't work under these f***ing conditions. Oh, f I'm trying to act here. Okay, I don't give a sh what what's going on wrong with you. Okay? You want to sneeze? Sneeze on someone else's time! No one can do what I can do! No one can do it! And cut. <laughs> That's probably worth checking out. Yeah, it probably is worth checking out the man-made structure. How did your outing go? Steve, Jolie, and I had some pretty good luck, to be honest. None of this matters without a signal. We're all going to die out here. Wow. Teddy suddenly took a turn for the depressive. Uh, what's going on, Teddy? Tell me your feelings. We're being tested. This is a reference to what we all thought Lost was going to be about, and then it wasn't. Teddy, I think you're being ridiculous. Yeah. You don't get it! I'm Teddy! Calm down, Teddy. All right, I'm listening. Go to bed, Teddy. Go to bed, Teddy. Go to bed, Jessica. I don't know if you've watched that ad recently, but that's what she does. Go to bed, Jessica. Go to bed, Jessica. Teddy, nobody has time for this. Just go to bed. They're deciding which of us to keep. Well, I'm not gonna be the one that's disposed of. Go to bed, Teddy. Go to bed. I get to talk to my peeps again. This is the best bit. This is where all the drama comes out. The whole game is just fluff, waiting to go to bed, and then you can have these conversations. This rain is getting quickly worse. It is, look at that. This shelter is keeping us pretty dry right now. It's a lot colder out in the rain. That's true. We'll make it through the night. We can find something better after the storm tomorrow. We're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to cuddle. Like, just really cuddle each other. Why do that when we can leave? Teddy, I don't have time for crazy people. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Thank you, Jolene. First thing you said that made sense today. Where would we even go? Inland. We could find better shelter. Oh, no, wait. Maybe he is talking sense. Teddy, come back to the group. Rita, you're being pretty quiet. Don't tell me you're on their side. I think we have to go find better shelter. Teddy's right. We should... Oh, no. I'm agreeing with Teddy. Oh, Rita, you didn't think this were... This is a huge mistake. I'm still not sure this is a great idea. Yeah, George. Change my mind. <laughs> we don't have a lot to lose here, George. Except our lives. Our lives, Rita. All right, all right, George agrees. Enough talk, if this is what we're doing, let's head out. Yeah, George, take control. Now just push those socks down a little bit so you don't look like such an idiot. It's a cave, I knew this would work. Wait, where's Jolene? Oh, I don't know if to be happy or scared. Oh, there she is. Oh my God, there's like a weird tiger thing. Uh, I could use a little help here. I think it's a cheetah, but it has eyebrows. Do cheetahs have eyebrows? Oh, is that a jaguar? Let's get out of here. Nobody stands a chance against that thing. Yeah, Teddy, you coward, run away. And let Jolene have it? Not a chance, says George. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not a chance. Not a chance I'll leave my wife to die. Ugh, it attacked her. Jolene, hang on, I'm coming, baby. Hold George back, let George fight Jaguar. There's a time, ah. Uh, no, no, hold it back! No, he's mine! No, George, we can't afford to lose you. <laughs> Get your hands off me. Jolene will die without my help. Hold George back. Fight Jaguar yourself. Let George fight Jaguar. Ah, hold George back. No! Let George fight Jaguar! Ah, I miss it! It ran out of time! Fine, go! Take this, you big pussy! Naughty. Whoa, George, no! No!
we're just dead. Sorry, can we cut for a second? Sorry, I took that pretty hard. So did Jolene, apparently. That's it. Rita has to become a lesbian. Oh, Jolene. I'm so sorry. We need to get out of here. We're still in danger. Right, okay, yeah. But my George! Oh, this is rough. If you don't get somewhere safe, we're done for, Jolene. Jolene! George wouldn't have wanted us to die out here. Unless you were Garrett. He really wanted Garrett to die. Okay, let's go into that cave. Oh, Jolene, she's so sad. <laughs> she's got such a sad little face. They didn't teach you that in college, did they? Huh? Dealing with grief and loss? No, they just told you to lift things. Well, this cave is awesome. Not now, Garrett. This game. This game knows. Are you okay, Jolene? Yeah, you just lost your husband. Are you okay? I can't believe he's gone. I just... I just always hoped I would be the one to kill him. I can't believe I ever loved him. Oh, Georgie, what have I done? I'm so sorry, Jolene. I shouldn't have held him back and then misclicked an option. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, Rita, it's not nice. I loved him so much. Debatable. Not according to George. Let's try to get some sleep. If we're lucky, this cave won't flood. Yeah, way to cheer her up. All right, so that's the end of day three and they've all gone to sleep. I think this is probably a good place to leave it because we've all suffered crippling loss and I need to figure out how to make Rita gay. Of course, you can't make anybody gay. They could born like that, but still, the game doesn't know that. That's it for today's episode of Pocket. Nick Boy out. All right, Jolene. Your husband liked being stepped on. Let's try that.